don't think we should close it. Healthy, not healthy. <laughs> Deep Cove, Vancouver. Honey's donut. No, this is not a paid segment. The next big step for wireless communications has to be ease of use of the interface. My cell phone, in trying to use all the other features, is still complicated. It'd be nice if I could speak to it and it understood me. Dave Chalk Connected is brought to you by TELUS. The future is friendly. We're still away from speaking at your cell phone as opposed to through it. We need more processing power. We need to understand voice inflection a little bit more. Let's say three to five years, yeah, we'll be talking to our devices. Bradley, you ready to go? Yeah. There we go. Lovely. Dave, you got the slate ready? Yeah, good to go. Mark, you good? Yeah. All right. Clear set, clear set. Stand by. Yeah, we're speeding. And. Action. Windows Media Center 2005 comes pre-installed on a new computer when you purchase it. A new one available from Toshiba is the Cosmio, a new series of notebook computers. This one is a 17 inch, as you can see, 16 by 9 letterbox format, which is great for viewing movies. There is also a 15 inch available, 15 inch around 3000 this one around $3,600, but there's a lot packed into it. Out of the gate, a gigabyte of RAM, which is going to be great for multimedia applications. Something very unique on this one. While it is portable, a little larger than normal, you might say, this is good for the home or office or taking back and forth wherever you go. With even a dorm room. Even a dorm room. Uh, if you've got the budget for it, it'd be great. Uh, can fit a lot of information. So there, replacing your TV and Just your computer. Just don't pay your tuition. All in one time. <laughs> People do that. They get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> uh, gigabyte of RAM in this one. Something very unique. Screen brightness. Incredible 500 to 1 contrast ratio. One of the ways they do that. Also a wide viewing angle. Two bulbs in the back. Remember, the way LCD screens work is there's literally a fluorescent tube in the back shining through. This one has two. When it's powered up to the wall, it runs on both. When on battery, running on one, conserving your battery a little. But brilliant screen. You can see this from across the room. Um, dongles that come with this allow you to hook up your cable because it does have a tuner built in and also exporting to get the information or picture out to your TV. Now, remember, this is all about media center, so we have the remote control. This is on a fairly long cord, allowing you to go across the room using your remote control. As you can see right here, the media center interface. One of the things I want to show you, because media center really is about more than just your music and your, your TV and your pictures. It's about external devices. When we go over here to more programs, sync to a device. This is how easy it would. We're not connected right now. Oh, we are. No, we didn't find the device. But let's show you a, a new portable device that you can take with you to enjoy your media wherever you are. This is something from Creative Labs called their new Zen Mobile Windows Media Player. And all that content that Dave was talking about on your main PC can then be connected and shared on this. It's got a 20 gig hard drive. That means you can store up to 85 hours of video. That's over 9,000 songs. That's a heck of a lot. Tens of thousands of and pictures. And you know what I did miss out here on this one? We've got two hard drives, a 40 and a 60 gig. Quite a unique combination, but again, a lot of stuff to transfer down. You can see super tiny here, so you can take this anywhere you want to go. And it's great for traveling, too. It actually comes with its own dongle as well. You plug this into the side, and you've got the audio and video output. So you could hook this up to your hotel room television yeah, or, or any TV. And considering what they charge for a movie rental in a hotel, you've got all your own content plug right in, and you're ready to go. And the video quality is brilliant. So you can record all of your TV programs here and then dump them down here into the Zen Player. And that's the nice thing. Up to 85 hours worth, you're going to be watching TV till the cows come home. So part of the whole concept of understanding Media Center is the fact giving you total control over your entertainment, be it video, pictures, or music, new notebooks and desktop computers allowing you to combine it all in one spot and play it, but new portable devices allowing you to take significant amounts with you when you're on the road using the high-end screen built into it or connecting it up externally to speakers or a screen to watch it when you are anywhere that you might be enjoying your time. Where, where you might be enjoying your time. <laughs>
That meant absolutely nothing. <clears throat> it sounded good. And yes. if I were to do that, I would sound like a moron. <laughs> Media centers. Oh, I love them. I've got one myself. It gives you the ability to get your music, your pictures, your television, all in one place. Like anything, you have to manage your expectations. It could be a little more work than you're thinking it's going to be. But once you've set it all up and got organized, you're like, wow, I'm totally on top of all of this. You know, if you do a lot of traveling and you take your notebook computer with you, there's something better you can do than always packing up your power adapter. There's some other options out there you may not be familiar with. This is something interesting here, a universal power adapter. You can see much slimmer and lighter weight, a lot easier to pack. And interestingly enough, it works with most notebooks in the marketplace because this company gives you all sorts of adapters with it. You simply pop one of these onto the end and it'll plug right into your notebook. Now, many of these will plug into the wall. But as you see, this one even has a car adapter, so you can use it right in your car and charge your notebook computer. Interestingly enough, you can even pull this end off. You know what that one is? That's the universal adapter for airlines. Many now give you power right in the seat, and this is how you can pick it up. That's one of the ways you can do it, but remember, too, that you can get power right out of your car. Now, your car's battery is direct current. Notebook computers, MP3 players, and CDs need alternating current. This is an inverter. Put this in your cigarette lighter, and you can see right on the side, you got a regular power plug. You might even power your blow dryer if you're out on a camping trip, but don't drain the battery too much. You know, we, we probably do rely a little too much on technology. Um, you know, when things go down, everyone just kind of goes into a panic. I, I, I don't think we're used to not having all this technology in our lives now. So I often wonder if something bad happened, like, what would we do? Time code in frame. 4319. Speed. Speeding. Episode 13, 2-6, take 2, marker. And in 3, 2, and action. I've been doing a lot of traveling lately, and I have to say one of my new best friends is my portable DVD player. I take it pretty well everywhere I go, whether I'm uh, on an airplane uh, or in my hotel room as well. And it's great because I can then take my favorite DVDs and watch whatever I want when I want to watch it. I don't have to be uh, held hostage to whatever the airline movie is, and typically I've already seen that one anyway. You know, if you do invest in one of these, and you know, typically these things go from anywhere for three to $700, you want to make sure that you actually protect it as well. So you probably want to look into some of the different types of bags out there. I came across one from Targus. This is part of their sport portable line. It's a portable DVD case that actually can accommodate not only my DVD player, but accessories as well. Super lightweight and durable. And nice thing, too, it does have a shoulder strap so I can carry it around. And this is kind of a cool thing. I don't always want to bring my laptop bag with me, so a lot of times I'll actually check that in now when I'm at the airport, and I just have this little bag to carry on. Inside, you can fit lots of stuff can actually accommodate up to a nine inch screen on any portable DVD player. And the nice thing is inside, it's got a lot of padding as well, so you don't have to worry about knocking around uh, your device. And once you've strapped it in here, it's actually quite secure. It's got the security strap here, and it's all Velcro, so super easy to uh, put in. From here, I can even watch it in the case, or I can shut her down. Nice thing, too, is that it's got the extra zip-up pouch here, so I can put all my accessories. I've got my AC adapter, my portable headphones inside here. And, if you can see this, it's even got room to have up to eight DVDs so I can bring my collection along with me. So, if you are traveling around and uh, you've taken advantage of one of these little devices here, make sure that you do protect your investment and have a look at some of these sport bags that are out on the market today. And cut. Awesome. Well done. Did I miss any points? You got them all, Mike. We are excellent for time. We're at 135. You were happy, Bradley? Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's move on to the next segment. I've used a Palm device, and I, I think they're great. But unfortunately, I'm a right brain person, and right brain people just love to look at their messy handwriting and have a book they can flip through. Left brain people, PDAs, Palms, all those devices work great. Understanding if you're left or right brain, when you give directions, do you tell people the names of the streets, or do you give them a visual representation? Go down to the blue house and turn right your right brain, you may not like a PDA. 
If you write instructions out, then you're left, you'll love a PDA. If I could do something other than uh, technology in the computer show here, that's a good question. Race car driver. good for spontaneity to capture an uh, image of the kids or when you're out on a soccer field or, and you want to send something off. The main thing the, the telephone companies have to do, because remember they control the interface, is make it really easy to put the information in and get it off to whoever you're sending it to. And this is the phone that does it all. Yep. So you can capture media and play it back on And mark it. Okay, here we go. Show 13, 3 5, take one. And in 3, 2, and action. You know, one of the big challenges many people have with technology is the fact that it tends to grow obsolete quite quickly. How often? Well, it varies between 90 days and possibly a couple of years. You see this very often with cellular phones. I just got one. A, a couple of months ago, and to tell you the truth, there's a, quite a few models in front of it. If you're thinking about buying your first cell phone or upgrading, now might be a good time, though, because technology is really changing. One of the key things is Bluetooth technology is now being included in phones. And what is Bluetooth? It's a way of communicating between two different devices. It's great for a cellular phone to communicate to your computer. Some of the new automobiles on the market, such as the Audis and Sabs, have Bluetooth built in that when you come into the car with your cellular phone, it'll actually link up with the hands-free. Well, that's just one of the reasons that are making new cell phones good, but also the ability to take images. They started out with low-resolution cameras, and now they're up to nearly 1.3 megapixels, and also the ability to capture video. There's a new one out from TELUS called the V710, which has all of this built into it and is quite a feature-rich phone. This is one of the first CDMA phones that has Bluetooth built into it, and I think that's an exclusive with mm -hmm. TELUS Mobility. And I really like this phone. It has the Bluetooth, so you can use these uh, accessories like the Bluetooth headset, which we'll show in a second. But it also takes video, as you were saying, mm -hmm. 1.3 megapixel. Uh, digital still camera, and MP3s as well, yeah. so you can listen to your digital music on the go. That's pretty cool. There's the, uh, pop the headset onto your ear for a minute, and you see no cable is required, which makes this quite convenient. The little flashing blue light indicates that there is a connection there. I've got the phone number of that one programmed in here, and we'll just uh, dial it up here. It'll take just a second for it to go through. And the nice thing is there's uh, all types of uh, different uh, Bluetooth headsets mm -hmm. coming out onto the market, and it's an optional accessory. Now, this one, I believe, is about $300, depending on what program you go on, and then the earpiece is about 150 And you simply click on the button on the side here, and uh, I've answered Let's the call. There. Are you there, Mike? No. Well, there he is. <laughs> it's a wrong number. Point here, the phone can stay in your pocket. Unless you want to see the number of the person who's calling you, just wear the earpiece and uh, answer all your calls. Well, let's look at some of the other functions. We talked about the video, and it's got a really uh, easy-to-use interface. By simply going to the main menu here, I'm going to look at uh, one of the videos that I've already taken. And uh, we can click on that, and we'll see Dave's smiling face. And it's so easy to take these here. And the nice thing is with the videos or the digital still uh, pictures, you can then send those to other uh, multimedia-enabled phones yep. or even or back through, to a computer. Yeah, through an internet yep. email address as well. It's on the 1X network, so it sends out those uh, images mm -hmm. and multimedia files pretty quickly. If you are thinking about getting a uh, new cellular phone, definitely look at the new ones on CDMA. Think about Bluetooth. allows you to stay wirelessly connected. Bluetooth simply is an operating system or a language that allows a small devices to talk to each other. There are Bluetooth adapters for your notebook computer, which is handy, or your desktop to transfer the contact information back and forth. Thinking about buying a new car, you may not even have to have your phone directly connected to the car. Lots of reasons to be looking at cell phones. Bluetooth is definitely one of them. Let's try it again. And cut. Awesome, that was great for fun. You got it, right, John? The only problem with these cameras is the person operating has to know how to take a picture. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Cell phones are really a medium to receive digital information. A cell phone will have instant messaging, it'll have pictures, it'll have video. The cell phone started as the communication link. Now we're filling it with the digital media. Your cell phone is really a small computer as we move forward.
action. Well, it's something that'll be written in history books for years to come. How a small device like the iPod turned the Apple Corporation around. There are now more than 5 million iPods in the world, and it's said that in the last 90 days, more than a million were sold. In fact, there's a whole iPod economy. Some figure in the area of 100 million or possibly more. There's diamond-encrusted iPods. There's Fendi bags to carry them in. The world is changing quickly, and digital music is on the move. One of the unique things Apple did in creating the iPod was realizing that many manufacturers would like to accessorize or provide things for it. In fact, quite different to the original Apple concept, but it was totally proprietary. Apple learned their lesson and decided, let's make it so everyone can add on. Universal docking ports in the bottom and the top of these allow for many devices to be connected to do many different things. In fact, one of the unique things that we came across is by a company called Griffin, it is a laser beam. You can see the standard power adapter and the two connector port which goes on the top side allows me to plug that in and for $25 not only do you get a laser beam but also they include the flashlight as Mike has here in the mini iPod. It's pretty cool. It's an LED flashlight and uh, for $25 bucks, it's pretty cool. You get both of them all in one package and again a great way to accessorize your iPod or your iPod mini. That's right and accessories are just the beginning. This one by Belkin is a voice recorder that will pop into the top of your iPod. I should know this is for third and fourth generation iPods, 3 and 4G, as well as the mini that Mike was showing just a minute ago. But taking it further on the sort of iPod economy and the whole concept and design of the iPod, as I mentioned before, Apple knew many other things would want to be added into it. They've actually put the voice recording software right into the iPod so that when we snap this on the top, you'll see on the screen, if you can see that, that it immediately turns it into a recording device. Now, other areas, talking about protection, skins that can go over top of them, really easily added on, low cost, and help you protect your valuable investment. Well, they have them for the iPod. These ones are for the iPod mini. And if you uh, recall, these iPod minis, they actually come in different colors. But why not just get a silver one and get uh, a pack of three skins Flavor here? Flavor of the week. <laughs> Flavor of the week. They come uh, three for 30 bucks. And the nice thing is that they're rubber skins as well. So you put them on. I don't have the time to put them on right now. It takes a little bit of effort, but once it's on, it gives that extra rubber protection yeah. as well if you ever happen to drop it, heaven forbid, on the floor. And there's all sorts of add-in accessories. This one from Monster is a splitter for the headphones so you can uh, share your music with your loved one. This is a digital camera download uh, adapter cable. And this one here is a multimedia card reader, all attaching to your iPod, allowing you to transfer those large files over and store them on the hard drive. Digital music is only constrained by the device playing it. If you want to hear great undistorted sound at much louder volumes, you might want to look at something like this. This is the Bose Sound Dock. It's about $400, and it really is a loudspeaker with a lot of oomph behind it. You've heard of the Bose Soundwave radio, one of the most successful radios in the world. Well, now take the guts out, put your iPod in, and you can have that sound right in your office your den or your living room. Mike has the mini iPod. It simply pops right onto the front. This is powered up from the wall. It comes with a remote control. It allows you to access all the features of your iPod. The digital music contained on here is now transferred into the speaker. A very revolutionary one was included in the system. And as you can hear, even over your regular television, it sounds pretty good. The nice thing about this is it's got the adapter as well, so that you can take the adapter out and right. stick the regular iPod in. And, and both will play on the unit. And something, uh, you know, this is good enough uh, if you're having a small party or gathering at your house and somebody brings an iPod with them, they can just pop it on oh, and use it. Oh, this thing is super loud. The nice thing I like is that it's uh, got the built-in recharging station yeah. as well. So when you put your iPod or your iPod mini in, it recharges the battery on it. And here's another way we can go. Of course, there's many options. It looks like you can do in the world of iPods. This one here, um, Mike, the name of this one? Airport Express. Airport Express is a device which is a wireless hub. Plug this into the wall, and it can work as part of the Wi-Fi network you already have. Allows you to take a speaker cable out of the bottom and plug it into your home stereo for amplification. Now, iTunes, a software program that controls your iPod that is on your desktop or Mac computer, can now send through the air on your wireless network, be received here, and right out the bottom. One of the other nice features about this, it does have the Ethernet port in the bottom. So if you are traveling and want to take a wireless hub with you, simply take this to uh, any place you want to go, plug it in the wall, 
put the connection in the bottom, and uh, you've got a Wi-Fi network ready to go right away. It's really cool with the USB connection as well. You could hook up a uh, USB printer and uh, send uh, information. Which to is actually artist, quite handy. If you have a living room uh, environment like this with your computer on one side of the room, your stereo and possibly your printer over here, you can now op wirelessly operate right through your home. About 180 Canadian dollars. As we said, a whole iPod economy starting to come to the marketplace. Many devices available to plug in and accessorize your iPod. It isn't just the music, it's all about the technology. Check it out. And some other stuff. All right. I think my all-time favorite band is U2. I've been listening to them since the 80s, and they just get better and better every year. And I think they're really innovative. I mean, just look at the whole deal with Apple now with the iPod and the, the limited edition U2 iPod. They make great music, and they get technology. Dave Chalk Connected is brought to you by TELUS. The future is friendly. Computing technology will never come down to a device in the palm of your hand as the only solution. You can remember this for a reason. As human beings, we're looking for stimuli. Two key areas, our ears and our eyes. Our eyes like it big and grand, so we'll always have a requirement for a big screen. Our ears like dimensional sound, so we'll always have a requirement for full, rich sound. But as human beings, we like convenience. When we need that, it'll be in the palm of your hand. The rest of the time, it'll be big and rich. Dave loves Little House on the Prairie. I, I remember we were on a business trip to Regina, and it's like blizzard outside, and we, we go to this local bar, and they just happen to be playing on the big screen, Little House on the Prairie. And so we're in this, you know, kind of crazy bar. Little House on the Prairie is playing, you know, with Laura Ingalls up there, and Dave is just in Happy Land. And these, these big guys, these big farmer guys come up to us, and they <laughs> ask, do you mind if we put the sports channel on? And Dave's, Dave's like just lost. He goes, no, no, I, I'm, I'm watching this right now. <laughs> I mean, we have 